settled in a third welcoming country. This option, however, is open to less than 1% of refugees. There simply are not enough slots available worldwide for any more. And because of this, only the most vulnerable refugees, victims of torture and rape, orphans and vulnerable children, women who suddenly find themselves as sole heads of households, only these refugees will even be considered for resettlement. And let me just parenthetically say a few words about those refugees who are lucky enough to make it into the... Contrary to the misinformation being spread by some, admission to this country, to the U.S. refugee program, remains by far the hardest way to enter the country. Despite what some people say, we do know exactly who these people are. Before they ever set foot in America, every refugee under consideration for resettlement in the United States must undergo a rigorous, multi-layered screening process, including extensive, extreme vetting by the Department of Homeland Security, National Counterterrorism Center, the State Department, the FBI, and the Department of Defense. But back to the global refugee crisis. The situation with refugees around the world is now worse than at any time in history. There are currently 65 million displaced people around the world, even more than in the aftermath of World War II. 